All right, what's going on guys? I hate how this time of year the sun just sets so early. Only got about an hour to fish. We had another cold front kind of come through the last couple of days. It's been in the 50s in the mornings the last couple of days. Right now, probably low 70s, about an hour before sunset. Second time I'm gonna be using my uh, St. Croix Legend Extreme. Kind of want to see how this thing keeps performing. A little bit more than just one time of use. Already got that little Nico Helgramite tied on there, so that's what we are going to be starting out with. I'm going to try to fish things a little bit slower today with the colder water the last couple days. And let's see if we can get some fish here before the sun sets. Alright, here we go. Still love the way the handle feels on this thing. Nice and smooth, comfortable to cast with. Now let's give this a couple jerks here. Just bounce it off the bottom fairly slowly. Let's hope a fish comes on by. Fish on. That did not take long. First largemouth. All right, so honestly, this was one of the weirder catches I've ever had. That little Helgram, I was almost unsure. A little largemouth, about half the size of this one, came up to check it out, and then this one just followed up right behind it, ambushed it, and I just kind of flipped it on in here. So, little dink of a bass, not too big, but I'm happy to get one today. Let's see what else we can get. Yeah, so that first fish didn't even know what hit it. My lure was almost on the bank, came out of nowhere to hit it, and as soon as I set the hook, the fish was basically on the bank already. I don't even think I reeled anything. I just kind of lifted him out of the water. But one is down, still got about 45 minutes left before the sun sets. Let's try to get another one, and that's just a bunch of grass. Oh no, that's a fish. There's a head shake. I didn't even feel the hit. I just thought I snagged some grass. This one's a little bit bigger too. Or a lot bigger. This is a nice fish. Oh, this is gonna be a nice one. Came out of nowhere too. Nice bass. All right, so this is a fatty of one. Nice little football largemouth. Didn't even feel the hit, which is crazy. I, I felt a little bit of weight, but I just thought I was snagged on some weeds, which are all over the place over here. Then I felt this guy with a little head shake. But beautiful fish, definitely gonna be the biggest one of the day. I hope not, I hope I get a bigger one, but that's gonna be doubtful. This is a beautiful, large mouth bass. Yeah, so really can't believe that, that one, I got a bass that big, but two that I didn't even feel it. Oh, there's another hit. There we go, fish on. This one's not as big, but should be of a decent size too. Now this hit I felt really well. It's pulling a little bit. Action's pretty good today for it being so cold the last couple days. Oh, it's a mine cichlid. First one of these for the day. All right, first mine cichlid of the day. Nothing huge, but action is action, especially with the uh, cold front. These fish are biting pretty well today. So we've got three fish here in about 15 minutes. So I'm sure, at least I'm hoping that we get some more. Fish on. Fish are really biting today. This is number four. It's, oh, it's a big bass too. This is number four. It's only been a couple minutes later. Let's get this guy on in here. He's jumping a lot. Come on, come on, come on. Nice fish. Let me come down here and grab him. 
Ooh. All right, nice large mouth. All right, so remember earlier how I said I didn't think I was gonna get a bass bigger than that second one I caught? This one might be bigger. If it's not bigger, it's on par. Like, it, 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 this is another nice fish. I think this one might be a little bit longer, but also a little bit skinnier. So I don't think he's as heavy, but another big bass. It has been a great day. I was not expecting this kind of action with the cold front, but in about 20 minutes got four fish, and two of them have been really, really nice. All right, so this day is going way better than I thought it was gonna go with this cold front coming through. But this Legend Extreme, like I said last time, it performs really, really well, really comfortable to hold, handle, and fish with. But I don't know if it does so much better that it has to cost so much more money. And again, it's a medium light power. I think it performs more like a medium for most other brands. Like these large fish, I'm pulling them in fairly effortlessly. So, just something to keep in mind. But let's keep going, let's get a couple more here. Fish on. Let's go. This one's a smaller one for sure. Not tiny, but nice little bass. All right, definitely not as big as those two big guys, but a little bit over 12 inches or so, a little dink of a large mouth. But still, I'm loving the action today. Fish on. Oh, spit the hook. Was it gonna be another decent size, either largemouth or peacock? Most likely a largemouth. Uh, so, lost my first fish of the day, but I don't care. I caught so many other ones earlier that I am really happy with. There we go, fish on. These guys are biting hard. That's another big bass. Is that a peacock though? That's oh, gonna be my first peacock of the day. It's a big one though. Hope I can get this guy in. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, this might be the biggest fish of the day and he is tough. It's not a large mouth, it is a peacock. Actually, I definitely think he's gonna be the biggest fish. Longer and fatter than both of the other large mouths combined. My first peacock, the fish are biting really, really well today. I'm happy I came out even if it's only for an hour. All right, so honestly, I lost track of how many fish I caught. I lost one, and I think I got five or six other ones, and it's only been probably a little bit more than 30 minutes so <laughs> still got about a half hour to fish but I am really happy just fishing this little hellgrim might pretty slow this area of the lake is really grassy really weedy so I'm fishing it as slow as I can while kind of keeping it up above all the weeds as soon as I feel it hit the weeds I kind of just give it a couple jigs and pull it up off and that has worked really really well here All right, so it's been about 20 minutes or so since my last fish came over to this side of the lake and it's a little bit more shallow. And water temperatures fluctuate a lot more in shallow water than in deeper water, like there is on the other side of the lake. So I'm thinking that might be why there's 
no fish or less fish here. But either way, it's been a good day. I'll be right back with a quick wrap up. All right, so we're about five minutes here after sunset, and man, was it a good day. This little Nico Helgram I produced, and it is still in great shape after all those fish. This is a super durable soft plastic on a 1 8 ounce jig head. It did the job today. Basically, I just tried to kind of swim this back to me uh, as slow as I could while keeping it out of the weeds. I was lifting my rod tip up a little bit, reeling in the slack, and then I let it drop. And on that drop, um, I think that's where most of my hits came. And man, man, some of those fish are really good. Two really nice large mouths, one really nice peacock. Uh, the Legend Extreme, I mean, it did well. It's a really, really nice rod. Feels really good in hand. Uh, still not sure if it's worth the money, but I'm glad I got a chance to fish it today. Like I said, for an hour of fishing, I cannot complain. Got some really nice fish and a uh, nice amount of them too. So hope you guys liked it, and I will see you next time.